Patrick Blaine oh, Anderson. Oh, love this to change song. Things up. Last year was all about letting the We need a Blaine show. episode. But this year? Everybody wants to rule the world. There's a rule where the... Marbler? I'm running for president. I mean, he's a much better option than Britney. She gave Steve Jobs his first black turn. She's Vogue <laughs> rogue. His first black turn. Ms. Wright, we'll see you now. Hello? Columbus. Look at that. Excuse me. You're my team. Can let her down. And that includes you. Me? Well, listen, my friend. Anybody who can pull off a hippo brooch deserves to be here. <laughs> So welcome to Vogue.com. Okay, so I'm running for senior class president again, and I want you to be my VP. Being vice presidential pick of McKinley High's first two-term president. These two the back really here, just Mac and who are these two in the two back? Practice SAT, and I was Heaven. the only handicapable member of a national relationship that lasts longer than a couple weeks. Why would I take that personally? You and I dated. We did? Oh, yeah. Look, you can get yourself a deal. Cool. They did. Okay, as you all I know, as national all champion, that. we get to host the annual country. Second... I'm wrapping up the election by selecting Artie as my running mate. Ah, oh, all right. Uh, I think by bridging the human slash robot divide, we'll ensure that both students and vending machines will be voting for us. Still not a robot. Brittany, that's not fair. This isn't a popularity <laughs> contest. It's about who's got the best ideas. It's about believing you can make a change, right? Ooh. What is that taste in my... Is that sour grape? Brittany! Uh-oh. Whenever you get into politics of any kind, it always gets dirty quick. Hey, so lack of adult friends means you're well on your way to a career as a pedophile birthday clown. Oh my god. I love my job. William, you had a dream. You achieved it. Now move on. <laughs> well, Brack, but my impressions are hilarious hundred percent of the time. Uh. George Bush, come on. Okay. Sure. Awesome. First <laughs> order of business? Artie and I challenge you and Sam to a debate. You're on. I'm Daphne. Leather socks, suede underpants, cowhide brasiers. <laughs> if you need to go off your meds again, yes. Then I want you to stay off because that is sick. I'm Chase Madison that I would do his piece on Spanx for cankles. <laughs> Spankles. <laughs> God, I'm an artist, not a manager. I can't say no to anybody. I can't. Just got hired it. and now he's got. Brittany, I just got a gotta... copy of Jacob and Israel's latest presidential poll. Talk mm -hmm. is boss. The good news off is 90% of correspondents said they're planning on attending Friday's debate. That's cool. So what's the bad news? 90% of those respondents said they were coming to hear you say something do. <laughs> do you think accurate? Okay. <laughs> test scores in McKinley have gone down 6% every Hardy. year for the past decade. What would you do to fix the problem? Stop giving tests. They're hard and there's way too many of them. What is your favorite color? Filipino. They're very hard workers and family is very important to them. You know what? Let's talk wardrobe. Hey, so glad you can make it. So why is the really president nominee debating the vice president nominee? Okay, what was that? first off, I'd just <laughs> like to say what an honor it is to have been asked to lead the annual show choir committee meeting. Which of these snacks are gluten-free? I guess the carrots are. Does it state so on the package? Because you do not want to deal with me if I've got gluten in my system. We really need to... wants to make a difference in this world. Go for it. Highly unlikely. I'm going to have a shame trisket. I don't <laughs> care if I have to spend all a night on the party. shame <laughs> Yeah, I swear, it was like a deleted scene from The Exorcist that was cut because it was actually too scary. Too. Oh, boy. God, this is amazing. Shit, take my picture. No, no, go for the quick later. That's nothing. Check this out. Y'all. Unbelievable. You're scary. You no, no, are no. not serious. You had me at makeover. Oh. What? A way to go about. Someday, when I'm awfully low. Oh. 
Isabel Wright. And I'm running for student body president with a former stripper. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. How's it going? It's going okay. With a former but, um, stripper. I, I didn't want to ask you what bow tie you thought I should wear for tomorrow's debate. Oh. What he describes as religious fever. And I am forced to moderate this insulting Hey, dude, uh, now that you made me over, can I give you some advice? Yeah, sure. There's a bow tie. What? Yeah, trust me, it makes you look uptight and a little like a young Orville Redenbacher. Just take it off. Stumbles, my first question is for you. Who in God's name gives a hot, wet, steamy dump about student government? <laughs> I and that's I great. think everyone in this room should too. First of all, student government isn't just a way for us to pattern call. Really, lesson, whatever. I already said I agree with that. Uh. Our next question is from the Twitter. <laughs> At Hungry South Mouth asks Sam Evans. Rumor has it you were a stripper. Aren't you ashamed? <laughs> no, um. I'm not. I'm, this is, this is Sue's funniest episode yet. Uh, Next thing you know, they'll start burning books. And then they'll probably start burning people, too. That's a lie. This tyranny all ends today, McKinley. I want to offer you a change. And I am that change. Let's all make right. history, Titans, and vote Anderson Evans. Thank you. Sweet, simple Brittany. What say you? Our vacation, so we'll have school all year round. That means we'll spend every day of every summer indoors with all our friends in McKinley High School's award-winning air conditioning. Also, I promise to end McKinley High School's policy of having weekends. If you make uh. me your president, Saturday and Sunday will be illegal. Can I please just say that I think you're the best dressed fairy godmother a boy like me could ever have. <laughs> Well then, can your fairy godmother give you a little bit of advice? You have quite the aptitude for fashion. And I know it's your dream to go to Niata, but sometimes dreams can change. And I really would not be surprised if someday every... I like that. So are they trying to give us the idea that Rachel was ugly before? I don't follow. I like you. Like you said last episode, all he's thinking about is kissing you. So, so what are you working on? Phone flourish. <laughs> no, not feeling it. Okay. <laughs> this year's student council president is. All right, it is Blaine. Look at Al Gore. He lost an election, then he won an Oscar. He did? Oh. <laughs> you think so? What is going on here? I don't know how you do it. So he's just gonna go with that? Continue to... Okay. Right. Okay. Think of something um, very good. Okay, so um, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I was obsessed with Ace of Base. No. <laughs> yes. Oh, I was, seriously, I had the posters on my walls. Wait, I thought you said you were straight. Oh, come on. Well, Finn, you waited a little too long. Something's got to happen. It's not just going to end with them kissing, right? That would be lame. So I just had a feeling it was getting about that time. He hasn't been around the whole season so far. How did he even... Like, where you been, bro? But, okay, that's going to be very interesting. Uh, I like I like the stuff with Blaine. 
some of my favorite stuff on the show. I thought this was Sue's funniest episode she's ever had. Like, legitimately hilarious. Thank you guys so much. Take it in. Soak it up. Bye.